This video will be discussing how to wire the KSU to ring a telephone. I will demonstrate how you make all four lines work to ring a phone or how to wire the phone on one particular line. This applies to all the 551 series that has a ringing generator wired to it. The 551A requires an outboard ringing generator. The 551B and C can have a 118 frequency generator installed internal inside of the KSU. The ITT 601 system, which I will show later in this video, has an internal ringing generator inside of them. The yellow slate, slate yellow, which is pair number 20 in a 25 pair cable, is presently wired to ring on all four lines of this key system. To make all four lines ring on that particular phone, you need to have the CA lead all strapped to each other, which is the green wire that I'm pointing to here. So I've just jumped from one lug to the next, to the next, to the next. This will allow the phone to ring on all four lines. If I only wanted that phone to ring on three lines, I would only connect the CA lead one, two, and three, and I would omit the four. Each of the CA leads respectively connects to the line card, so one, two, three, or four. If I wanted the telephone to ring on only one single phone line, I would remove the yellow slate from the R1B1 and would punch it down on top of the CO tip and ring of whatever line I wanted it to ring on. So this could ring on, for an example, line three. I would connect it to the tip and ring of line three down here. That way that phone would be ringing from the telephone company as if it was a single line telephone. In the 551A series, KSUs, generally they use the intercom buzzers inside of the telephone for the common audible. So your ring ground and ring battery would be connected to your 10 volt AC ground and 10 volts AC on the power side. In this case, the 551C that I have here is equipped with a 118 frequency generator. So I can ring multiple phones off of that generator, depending on how the wiring of the KSU is done. Here is the internal of an ITTK-601A. I have a close-up of line slot number one in the 601 and part of line number two. The case here, the COT and COR, is line number one. We have over here the RG, which is ring ground, and RC, which is ring common. In order to make this KSU ring on, we'll say, all five lines, the RC lead of line one, line two, three, four, and five would need to be connected together. At that point, then you would connect to the yellow slate slate yellow pair which is pair number 20 in a 25 pair cable going to the telephone set. The ITTK601s was really intended to have one 25 pair cable brought into it or maybe two if you were utilizing the intercom and you would connect up the CO tip and ring in white blue blue white and then the station tip and ring a white, orange, orange, white, white, green, green, white, 
white, brown, brown, white, and then the yellow, or I'm sorry, the white slate would connect to the ring ground and ring common of line one. And then line two would be the red group, line three would be the black group, line four the yellow group, and line five the violet group. If you'd done that, wired it that way, then the RC leads would be brought out to your external 66 block, and outside on that external 66 block, you would take all of your slate leads, such as white slate, red slate, uh, black slate, uh, yellow slate, and violet slate, and tie them together. You only need to tie the slate leads together because once you have one single RG, um, that's good for uh, any phones. Typically, when I installed these systems, I would take whatever lead I wanted to use for my common ringer and tie down the ground, and we'll just use an example, the violet slate, and then I would take the slate violet and tie them together, and then at my 66 block, I would have one common ringing lead to cross-connect to multiple telephones. And the same thing with the 551 A, Bs, and Cs. If you choose to have the telephone ring on a specific line only, then you would take the yellow slate ringer lead and tie it down to the tip of the ring. Since there's only one single tip and ring lug for the input to the 400 KTU, you would have to take the ringer lead and put it over on the second tip and ring um, because the first one would be going to your telephone and then the second one you could use for the ringer. Again, the ITT equipment really was intended for one single cable to an external block and I would highly recommend that they be wired that way. I'm going to quickly demonstrate wiring a common audible on a 620 panel. In the view here, we have multiple 620 panels. There's a 620A and a 620A2. The 620A2 brought out some additional leads for ex external control. This is an eight quadrant key system. So I'm going to be looking at this panel here and here. That's the same panel, of course, but two different blocks. So the upper left-hand quadrant will be line one. The lower left-hand quadrant is line two. And then line seven is the upper right-hand quadrant on the second block. And then line number eight is on the lower quadrant of that. So in order to make, we'll just say all eight lines ring on one phone, if you had a 10 button 2830 type telephone, you would take the RG and RC leads, which I will zoom in on those in a moment, and you would connect the RG to each other on all eight quadrants if you wanted one phone to ring on all eight lines. If you only needed a key phone to ring on, let's say, four lines, then you would take the first four of the RGRCs and tie them together and then connect them to the yellow slate of the telephone ringer. Of course, you could also have, you know, lines, uh, we'll just say four, five, and six only ringing one specific phone. So you would tie them together. If you get into systems that's large, such as this, um, you have to be careful on how you do your ringing. If you ended up with, we'll say, two different customers that had their own sets of four lines, as long as you did not connect the fourth line unit to the fifth line unit, then each, and then wired the phones so that line unit one, two, three, and four connected to one customer's phones, line units five, six, seven, and eight connected to the second customer's phone, as long as there was no interconnecting between lines four and five on the ring ground ring common, it would work fine. If you had phone lines mixed and different tenants were sharing different lines, then you would need to get into a diode ringing. And I've covered diode ringing in another video. So I have strapped lines three to four and five and six 
of this eight unit panel so that those four lines would ring on one single phone. The yellow slate, slate yellow, would be connected to the ringer internally in the phone. I've only connected the RC leads together because I own the ring grounds are already connected together internally inside of the panel underneath of the 66 block. However, each of the RCs are brought out to one row, which gives you five appearances. So you could strap the RC leads between whatever line courage you wanted and then you have lots of different places to connect your ringer leads. The 620 panels was never intended to have a cable from the phone directly to the panel. Typically you would go to a 66 block as uh, a 66 M150 and then you would put cross connects in between the line card units and the phone. I'll make a brief video of that being done on my backboard. Here's a quick section of my key system. The 66 block that has the metal bridging clips has two phones with the same lines on each appearance. There's multiple lines connected to that phone and it's a 2830 or 830 on the other end of that cable. Here is an ITT K512 key system. This was a packaged unit that ITT made. This is a 13 line KSU. It's wired out the same as a 584C panel and I will show that on the 66 blocks below. Here is a cable that's been brought out of the 512. There's five pairs per line. The central office tip and ring, the station tip and ring A1 LGL, ring ground and ring common. This repeats up for up to five lines in one block. For ringing you would strap all of the RC leads together and connect to your telephone if you wanted all the lines to ring on that phone.